Uh, welcome back guys to another video and uh, today is exciting because we're actually starting to install things and um, Joseph's been hard at work. He's been working kind of on this back area here. So I'm actually running the wire right now for the backup camera because um, that's kind of one of the first things that we want to get kind of closed off and installed in the back here. Um, so I'm getting this done in here. You can see how all the trussing is done now. Joseph's got all that finished which is pretty sweet. Um, and then back into here, this is where the backup camera gets installed right here. And then this whole area, we're going to be putting this insulation down, um, kind of all the way up the walls. And then we're building a closet back here that's going to be in behind the bed. So that's the project that we're working on at the moment. It's exciting to see this happening. All right, new day, you guys, and new adventures. Um, we're getting to be a dodge party here. I'm just noticing. Uh, we've got a couple new guys started that today. I'm gonna introduce you to them in a second. We've got Landon and Max. Um, Landon's with Northwest Skata. Um, it's kind of dirty, but you can kind of see it there. He's the one that's gonna be doing all of our electrical, all of our uh, solar panels and everything. Uh, very excited about that. You'll get to know him um, in the next little while. But uh, we've also got Max. So we've got Dodge, Dodge, Dodge and Joseph's Dodge. So this is getting to be quite the uh, quite the party out here. But anyways, let's take you guys inside, show you what's happening here. Um, Joseph is still working on the um, closet in the back there right now. And then we have just decided, this is uh, Max, everybody, say hi. Hey. Um, we've decided that we're actually gonna be able to take out these um, steel boxes that were on the side here. We're gonna be getting rid of the um, kind of the over the road air and heat. Um, so that's gonna actually free up quite a bit of space on the side for certain things as well, which is pretty cool. But um, anyways, we're working on that right now. And you can see there's a couple pipes under this section right here, but a lot of it actually didn't have anything under it, which was kind of interesting. So I guess they were just trying to keep it all uniform, but anyways, that's cool. And then I'll get uh, get around to the side of the bus and uh, introduce you to Landon. All right, guys, this is Landon, and he's just showed up here today as well. Say hi. Hello there. Hello there. With Northwest Skata, and um, he is going to be doing all of our electrical wiring, everything. And how's this looking right now? <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, it's a wiry mess. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, we just stripped out all the old batteries. Um, and yeah, they're all kind of toast, not, yeah, not in very good condition. So, um, but this is all opening up. Did you figure out what that tank is there yet? Yeah, I just figured that, that out a few minutes ago. What, um, that what is, is an electric roll spool, rolling spool for your... your oh, oh, okay, so cool. It's, just, it's coiled up inside there and it just comes out. So we'll, we'll have to tie that back in. Got it, yeah. okay, perfect. Um, yeah, so we're going to be basically utilizing this bay and then part of the next bay over here um, for all the batteries and the inverters and all the different systems that are going to be setting up. So you guys are going to get to know Landon very well over the next couple of weeks here as we keep diving into stuff. So Our closet is coming together, Joseph. Yeah. Look at that, getting insulation all around it. Keep Doing nice the nasties. And cozy. That's right. And this is the front... Uh, facing piece that's going to go on the front of that so that's pretty exciting and then things are all coming still apart and then slowly back together here um, we're just making the under frame right now for the kitchen area oh man buddy look at this that's this panel is, number one this is great that is exciting yeah we've decided that it's going to be very tight landon's uh, unhappy with how tight it is <laughs> But it's going to be very tight and we are going to fit eight panels on this roof here. Eight of those guys. That's pretty exciting. Uh, Landon, these are 340 what? 425 watts. So 425, sorry. Yes. 425 watts. So, whoo, crazy man. This is an exciting moment. Well, we uh, couldn't have fit this any better, I would say. It's 
completely snug to the middle and then perfect on the side to be fastening it down the sides. Wow, this is going to look epic when this is done. Yeah, it's a little lower than I was. I thought I was going to have it, to be honest. Yeah? Yeah, I wanted it to be more like here. But okay. It's, uh, this will do. It's still got lots of headroom. That's good. At least door. we can get through here. We're not going to hit uh, on the way through. Yeah. So uh, installing a pocket door right now, which is pretty cool. It's a pretty... Uh, intuitive system or is uh is it a little bit difficult uh it's pretty intuitive yeah but uh just hard angles to work a couple with couple round <laughs> spots round. with no proper headers and yeah exactly yeah these round uh edges to the bus is making everything definitely much more complicated i would say yeah <laughs> but you know what it's uh, it's gonna look cool when it's all done so and it's fun it's fun <laughs> guys today is a sunny day it's actually feeling like spring which is pretty awesome Hudson how's your uh, lunch going it's going good Quinny did you have a good lunch yeah let me show you guys around guys we have been gone for a couple days had a bunch of people working here things are starting to look pretty crazy big uh, transformations right now I'm gonna show you inside the bus first and then I'll show you on top but first thing you're gonna notice is all the wiring on the roof so these are all the boxes for the pot lights here and all the wiring pretty much in i think we've got like 80 percent of the wiring in right now which is crazy joseph i'll uh, show you what he's working on in the back there in a second oh you've taken that apart we've got plumbing going on here Okay, so now that it's a little quieter, we've got uh, plumbing going on here. The plumbing's not uh, totally finalized yet, but that's going to our kitchen sink, and then uh, drain and vent right over there, and then this guy is coming over for our shower. Uh, actually, sorry, that one there is for the vanity. Um, and the shower drains out the bottom there, and we've got all the other wiring hooked up. Also, our toilet is all hooked up as well. This obviously needs to come over and get installed, but that'll happen later. And then we got the shower kind of mostly framed in. We got the shower base there ready to go and that's all getting framed in. We've got a pocket door uh, right there that is installed now. Is it fully working, Joseph, or is it closed? Yeah, it works. <laughs> the... Sounds like confidence. <laughs> no, it works good. Um, I didn't know exactly how high it was going to hang. Right. Not as high as it can go, so... Okay. We either have to figure out a threshold transition for underneath. Yep. Or okay. um, cut the door. So, okay. But All right. There's lots of beef under there. Yep. I already cut it once. Okay. So we can trim that down a yep. little bit more. Framed up nice. And then this is a cabinet that he's working on right now. He had it installed earlier, just kind of uh, dry fitting. But uh, as I was mentioning earlier, my office is going to go right here. So this is the side wall and that's the back wall for that. So that looks pretty crazy getting that framed in now as well, which kind of starts to give us a bit of perspective of what the space is going to feel like. If you look at from this side here, um, still a decent amount of space right there. We're going to have another cabinet that's going to go onto this wall here. So that's going to be um, for some clothing and stuff like that as well. And then the bed is getting made as well. This is um, the, the base of the bed that's going to actually lift up. There's a box there that you're going to be able to do storage and stuff. And then the closets in the back. So inside is looking pretty crazy. Oh, catching them in the middle of it. This is the scary moment, isn't it? Oh, so scary. <laughs> this is like nerve-wracking at its finest. <laughs> um, so tape is going down. The edge. We're going to be taping and then gluing on the outside and then just gluing on the inside for these panels. So we're starting to get the first panels installed here. See another one just kind of hanging out in the back for now until it's ready to go. And all the uh, the holes that we had up here are now all patched, which is good. Kind of annoying to have all those extra holes in there, but that's what we need. This is where the wires are going to go down uh, from the solar panels um, down into the bus. So that's all set up and ready for that as well. All right, so you're saying it's back together yeah, again? Yeah, we got it together. The miter's looking nice. Okay. It's not glued together yet, but... Wow! Look at that miter! little adjustment, and now it's Ooh, nice and Ooh, look ready. at that! 
That's nice. So it's uh, dry fit still. It's not glued yet. Yeah. But whoa, there it is, guys. That's pretty sweet. You know what? This um, this hall actually, this door can go a little further back. Yeah. This hall is not nearly as bad as I thought. Walking through here. Yeah, it's, no, it's pretty decent. It's not bad. Like you got full shoulder width. You don't even have to turn sideways to go through there. Yeah. So I'm happy about that. Very nice. That's Exciting, man. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Looking nice. This side. All right, guys, this is really coming along now. Check this out. We have five panels. We got three more to go. We are getting close. So we are getting all the mounts ready here. So we basically tape them, glue them, and then screw them down. And there's uh, three mounts per side. So six mounts holding these things down. Should be enough, I hope. All right, you guys, this is pretty unbelievable. We have managed to fit eight solar panels on the top of this roof. Thanks to Landon. <laughs> Woo, buddy, cool, man. man. You were stressing for a while that they weren't going to fit. Oh, that was scary. Oh, and we got the room in between for the air conditioning heating units. Yeah. I mean, that's a thing of oh, beauty. It's just exciting. I can't believe it, man. This bus is going to be fully solar paneled or power powered. That's so awesome. All right, you guys, I think I'm gonna wrap this video right here because that's an amazing place to finish. All the solar panels done, wiring in on the inside for all the lights and plugs and everything. It's been quite the week. There's a, a lot of progress happening. Um, you know, our goal, this is uh, the beginning of March still right now. So our goal is to have this all completed by the end of March, be able to move in at the beginning of April. It's a tight timeline, but we're gonna keep pushing for it and we'll see how it goes. But uh, it's, it's definitely been a lot of progress in the last little while. Hopefully the next week or two, uh, I get to show you even more stuff just kind of piling in here. So uh, just uh, in closing, i to just let you peek into this bay that we've got as well. And right over there are the couches that we're building that are kind of in the, the final assembly for couch number one. Couch number two still needs to get built as well. So exciting time, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and we're going to talk to you in the next one. See ya.